morning, DK. I'm Ashley. Thanks so much for joining me for service today. Our big idea for today is God gives us a mission. Now let's do our song of the month. Do you know what a mission is? A mission is when someone asks you to do a very important job. It might be a fun job, or a scary job, or a dangerous job, but it's always a very important job. If you were a knight, a king or queen might ask you to go on a mission to fight a dragon and save people who were in danger. Okay, you and I will probably never be asked to fight a dragon, but we have been asked to go on another kind of mission. Do you want to hear about it? Great! Our story begins with Jesus and 11 of his friends called disciples. Right before this, Jesus had risen from the dead. His disciples were so happy to have him back with them. But Jesus knew he would be going away again soon. Before he did, he wanted to give the disciples an important mission. Here's what he said. First, he wanted them to tell the whole world about him and the good things he had done. Then, he said they should baptize people with water in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And finally, Jesus reminded the disciples to obey all of his commands. These were some pretty big orders. Going to the whole world? That's a big job. But Jesus said, Don't worry, I'll be with you. And the cool thing is, Jesus didn't want this mission to be only for his 11 friends. He said this mission was for everyone who follows him for all time. That means this mission is for you and me too. We get to tell others about Jesus because God gave us a mission. So let's go. The mission God gives us isn't just any mission. It even has its own name. It's called the Great Commission. That's a pretty big word. Does anyone know what it means? It simply means Jesus has given us something to do. We find the great mission in Matthew 28. The mission was first given to Jesus' disciples, but it was meant for every follower of Jesus forever. So it's a mission for you and me too. Let's read Matthew 28, 16 through 20. 
Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Our mission is to tell others about Jesus. Many churches do missions work in different countries around the world. The purpose of those missions is to share about Jesus to people who haven't heard about Jesus yet. But church missions are just one of the ways we can show Jesus' love to our community and the world. We can carry out God's mission right at home too. Sometimes, telling people about Jesus might look like caring for them and showing them kindness. Or, it might look like noticing a need around us and being a big helper to people who need it. Can you think of some missions for Jesus you can do? Let's pray. Dear God, we are thankful for this mission you've given us. Please help us think of ideas for how we can complete it. Amen. Parents, find lesson materials in the description box below. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next week.